The Journey of Maximilian Kilman. Maximilian William Kilman, an English footballer with a story as dynamic as his playing style, embarked on an extraordinary journey that took him from the futsal courts of London to the Premier League's grand stages. Born on May 23, 1997, in the vibrant heart of Chelsea, Greater London, Kilman's roots trace back to Ukraine, with his father hailing from the coastal city of Odessa and his mother from Kiev. Bilingual in Russian and English, Kilman's multicultural upbringing would later play a subtle yet significant role in his footballing career. A dual love for football and futsal, Kilman's passion for the beautiful game blossomed early. His first steps into football were taken at Fulham's academy, but as a teenager, he was also captivated by futsal, a faster, more technical variation of football played on a smaller, indoor pitch. His dual interests saw him play for Genesis Futsal Club while continuing his traditional football development. This love for futsal would uniquely shape his playing style, making him a player with exceptional ball control and quick reflexes. In 2015, after a brief stint with Gillingham's Academy and a single appearance for Welling United in the London Senior Cup, Kilman found himself at Maidenhead United, a club nestled in the lower tiers of English football. It was here that his journey truly began. Although Kilman's early career might have seemed unremarkable, loaned to Marlowe in the Southern Football League during the 2016-17 season, his persistence and skill were undeniable. Returning to Maidenhead United the following season, Kilman made an impression from the start. He debuted against Maidstone United and, while continuing his futsal career with Helvetia, racked up 39 appearances for the club. His performances didn't go unnoticed, and in August 2018, on the final day of the transfer window, Kilman's life changed forever when Wolverhampton Wanderers came calling. From under 23s to the Premier League, at Wolves, Kilman initially joined the under-23 side, where he played a pivotal role in their promotion from the second tier of the Premier League reserve competition. His development was rapid, and by April 2019, the head coach, Nuno Esurdo Santo, recognized Kilman's potential, integrating him fully into the first team. Kilman's stature as a towering, aggressive center back who could also finesse his way out of tight situations made him an exciting prospect. Kilman's Premier League debut came on May 4, 2019, when he stepped onto the pitch as a last-minute substitute in a 1-0 victory against Fulham. This milestone made him the first player since Chris Smalling to make the leap from non-league football to the Premier League without any loan spells in between, a testament to his undeniable talent. Over the following years, Kilman continued to grow. His first goal for Wolves, a well-placed header against Everton on November 1, 2021, marked his arrival as not just a solid defender, but also a threat in the opponent's box. By 2023, he had made his 100th appearance for the club, and in August of the same year, he was named Wolves' captain, succeeding the influential Ruben Nevis. Under his leadership, Kilman became a pillar of consistency, one of only two outfield players to play every minute of the 2023-24 Premier League season, West Ham United and beyond. The summer of 2024 marked a new chapter in Kilman's career as he signed a seven-year contract with West Ham United for a reported £40 million, a testament to his rising stock in English football. The move also proved lucrative for his former club, Maidenhead United, who pocketed £4 million from a well-placed sell-on clause. Kilman's arrival at West Ham was met with high expectations as he brought with him not just experience, but a unique blend of skills honed through years of playing both football and futsal. An Englishman with Ukrainian roots, Kilman's international career is as intriguing as his club career. Having represented England's futsal team 25 times, Kilman's allegiance became a subject of interest for Ukraine, the homeland of his parents. In 2021, Ukraine's coach, the legendary Andriy Shevchenko, attempted to switch Kilman's national allegiance to Ukraine. However, FIFA ruled that Kilman's appearances for England in competitive futsal matches tied him to England in all forms of football. This ruling was bittersweet for Kilman, who could have worn the blue and yellow of Ukraine on the international stage. Nevertheless, his journey is a fascinating blend of cultures, styles, and relentless determination. Legacy of Kilman. Maximilian Kilman's story is far from over. 
as he continues to make his mark at West Ham United. He carries with him the lessons learned from futsal courts and non-league pitches. His career is a testament to the belief that with talent, hard work, and a bit of serendipity, a player can rise from humble beginnings to the pinnacle of English football. Whether he's captaining a Premier League side or simply controlling the ball with the finesse of a futsal player, Kilman's journey is one of resilience and triumph. In conclusion, Max Kilman has an estimated net worth of $5 million, which he has amassed it from his football career, endorsement, and business ventures. And with that, thanks for watching, share with friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.